Atlantic City's gaming revenue plunged in June. Now that's not surprising considering most of the casinos were closed through July 2nd. The latest figures from the Division of Gaming Enforcement show casino revenues plunged more than 67 percent compared to last year. But internet gaming was a bright spot. Revenues more than doubled. And sports betting revenue increased even with very few things to bet on. The Borgata Hotel and Casino has announced its reopening date. It is the 26th of this month. Atlantic City's other casinos opened before the July 4th holiday. But the Borgata decided not to because of the continued ban on indoor dining. When the property reopens later this month, it will have new outdoor dining options, including a beer garden and food trucks. Millions of people have not only lost their jobs, they've also lost their health insurance. Between February and May, an estimated 5.4 million workers lost their health care coverage, and that includes 124,000 workers in New Jersey. That is a record number. It's much higher than what happened during the last recession, according to Families USA, a nonpartisan group. Report author Stan Dorn says this is a health and economic problem. Right now, reopening the economy is critically important for so many different reasons. And we cannot do that until we get the virus under control. If a huge percentage of our citizens are walking around without health insurance, that spreads COVID-19 because the uninsured can't come in quickly and get diagnosis and treatment. Dorn's organization is urging Congress to provide more financial assistance to unemployed workers so that they can buy their own health care coverage. Lawmakers are working on a bill that would reimburse restaurant owners for the losses they incurred when the indoor dining ban was extended. A new Senate bill aims to protect environmentally challenged parts of the state by limiting permits for manufacturing and other facilities. But the NJBIA's Ray Cantor says the bill is too far reaching and would hurt local economies. Essentially what it's doing is keeping out many jobs, many, many manufacturers from being able to locate or expand or even to continue to do business in, in this large area of the state. You can read more about the bill and the NJBIA's objections on njspotlight.com. Now, here's a look at the trading day on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report is provided by the New Jersey Society of CPAs, equipping and empowering New Jersey's accounting and finance professionals to thrive in their careers. Learn more at njcpa.org.